Hello everybody, welcome back to Poetic Fitness. I'm wearing my basketball gear. Why? Because today's question is basketball related. Would I really wear this on the basketball court? You're doggone right I would. Because uh, I feel like I'm a big ball of cotton candy. Um, can you spin a basketball on your finger? That is the question. <sighs> I don't know, we'll try. I used to be able to when I was a little kid, but I don't know if I can do it anymore. We'll get, oh, yep, we got it. We got it. It's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning, and that's what we got. Can you spin a basketball on your finger? Have you ever tried? Just let me know, comment. All right, 10 moves. One time through, no repeats. We got dumbbells, keep a little mixture. Lighter to moderate. We're not gonna go heavy on any of these because we're just gonna keep moving. This workout is designed to be done paired with another workout, or you can do this one two times through if you want. Obviously, it can be a standalone workout. When I hit this button, five seconds. Nix and Ace, they both say hello. Samson and Greta, well, they're back over there doing their thing. So, without further ado, I'm gonna hit that button, and you're gonna have these dumbbells, and the first move is gonna be an Arnold squat, so you're gonna want two dumbbells. Five seconds. You can go more moderate on this one. You don't have to go extra light. Backs of the dumbbells and the supinated grip, and then we press and we twist. So you come down, squat, press and twist. And there you have it. Get a good pace, control. Try not to just pause, but just keep constant movement. And we gonna push right through this. I like to enjoy, I like to destroy. That's why I like to wear bright colors sometimes and have fun with it. I like to have fun with it. Because as we know, the less fun it is, the less you want to do it, the less exciting it is, the less you're apt to do it. Four, three, two, one, set those dumbbells down. Next move is a step back kickback. We're, we're gonna want to go light. You're gonna to wanna to poke that butt out like you're boxing somebody out in basketball. Pull those elbows as high as they'll go and keep them there. We straighten the arms, we bring them back. Hands are in a hammer grip. So they're just sideways like you're holding some suitcases. Constant movement. If you pause, pause out there extended. Try not to pause down here. Keep your chin up and your chest out. That keeps your back engaged. You don't want to hunch over for these movements butt out, that way we're working our legs the whole time. And remember, keep those elbows up. We will keep pushing. Oh. 10 seconds, and I just realized my earrings are turned off, the batteries are off on them. So in three, two, one, I'm gonna set these dumbbells down. The next move is gonna be a plank back fly so you're going to take one light to moderate dumbbell you're going to get in the plank just get your base of your feet wide we're going to go out to the side don't go way up in the air with it straight out to the side set it down switch hands keep moving i'm going to reach up here grab the batteries to my earrings while you guys keep going and what do you know they're on oh they're, they're on now now everything is going to flow like it should stabilize here again the, you can widen your base of your feet you don't want to twist your body open you want to keep square to the ground so the only thing moving is that shoulder so that's it you're not twisting with it keep everything isometric except that shoulder five seconds two one and now we're up to our feet you're going to get you can go moderate or light, your choice. I'm just gonna go kind of moderate. We'll get in a squat. Arms are hanging between and we're gonna do a hammer curl. So we're doing a squat hold here. Keep your weight in your heels. Try to keep your chin and your chest up. Look at the ceiling. Pull your toes in the air like you're, like you're wearing elf shoes. What are you doing, Sam? Here comes Sam. I told you he'd be by eventually. Look, hi buddy. You say hey to everybody. Good boy. And he likes to check stuff out. And he's out of here. <laughs> All right, keep moving. Animal Kingdom. 
Animal Kingdom at home workouts. You don't need to be at the gym unless you just want to or it's the only place you can go and you don't have the luxury of a home. If you don't have a home and you gotta go to the gym, I get it. You need an audience, I get it. I'm kidding, break. I'm just making digs at the gym because I love the at-home workouts. I'm shy, I don't like to be in front of people. <laughs> Next move, uh, Libra Lunge, light weight. Very lightweight in my personal opinion. You can go moderate if you're crazy. Step forward into a lunge. We lift out with a side raise. We set them back down. We come back up. Other leg, step out. Hold the lunge, get your balance. Lift, set it down, come back. Libra Lunge. Make sure your form of your lunge, when that knee comes out, is over the ankle, not in front of it, or at least behind the toes. To work, lead with the heel, push back with the heel. Oh my God. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Way to work. All right, next move. Light, moderate, your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the, the heavier moderate. These are iron pants. You do a squat, you pull up like you're pulling your pants up, pull the pants down, pull the pants up. They're iron pants. Who wants cotton pants? I like iron pants. You don't have to iron your pants when they're, I don't get it. Do you iron your, if your pants are iron, do you iron your, oh boy, I think we've, I think we've come to a, a fork in the road where it's a question of questions. So now not only do I want to know if you can spin a basketball in your finger, Do you iron iron pants? If you have iron pants, do you iron the iron pants? Okay, we've got a jack press. Go light, go light. No reason to be jumping and having a ton of weight above your head. Whew, nice control. And if the jumping is too much for you, step, step. Or just nice controlled press. Your choice. Whatever you do. Enjoy and destroy. And if you hit the point where you say, hey, these basketball shoes aren't great to jump in when you're not on the basketball court, then you just take them off. Oh boy. Actually, they aren't tied up all the way. <laughs> they were falling off my feet. And you know, if you're cool, you don't tie your shoes up all the way, or at least that's what I was told. I was also told, break. If you're cool, you pee your pants like Miles Davis or something like that. What movie? We're in a prize. What movie? Next move. Sorry. Executioner. One. Moderate. Two. Moderate dumbbell. Over the head. Chop them. Over the head. Chop them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now this is the type of move where I think my microphone may do some weird like rustling, so I apologize if it does. Oh boy. Oh boy. And if you know what movie, if peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis is from, leave a comment. But remind me of the quote. As I say so much crazy stuff, sometimes I don't remember what I said. Break. You know? It's pretty bad if you don't remember what you said because you say so many stuff. So many a tongue twister. Okay, bridge punch. Get on, on we're on our back with moderate dumbbells and we're bridge punching. So you're bridging and reaching across. If you were on a towel or a yoga mat, you'd be kind of reaching up to the opposite corner. Reach and extend and control. This is gonna hit the core. It's gonna hit that core. These last couple moves are all core moves. And again, like I said, be prepared if you decide, hey, I'm gonna double this one up. We'll just restart it real quick after we finish the last move. That way you turn this into a 20 minute workout. 
Otherwise, you got a nice quick 10 minute addition to, to Mr. Simpson, another workout. So you have a nice addition to another workout or this can be its own little workout or a warm up break. Or maybe you just needed something to watch to make you laugh. All right, break, I said, I think, hopefully. And in three seconds, we got V curls. Block your face, pull those heels up, and we're just punching out across. Lighter, possibly moderate. I feel like I went a little heavy with the moderate, but it's okay, just control the weight. You're not doing fast, rapid punches. Don't separate your shoulder. Nice control, nice control. It's V crosses, because it sounds fun. Otherwise, it'd just be Sit on your butt with your feet in the air and then kind of reach out over across the other knee and extend your arm with the dumbbell move would be the name of it. Just so you know. Well, at least that's what I'd call it. But instead, V crosses. And that my friends is a wrap so can you spin a basketball on your finger can you uh, do you iron iron pants and cons if peeing your pants is cool consider me miles davis what movie thanks for being here remember enjoy destroy it's all about having fun. At least that's what I'm all about. So if you want a workout, you want a really good workout, and you want to have fun doing it, here's where to do it. This is the spot right here. And if you know other people that like it, well, let them know. Share it with them. Take it put it on that Facebook thing or take it and put it somewhere. Every time you share it, someone says, hey, sharing is caring. You know? Sharing is caring. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Spin that ball. Spin it. Can you do it twice? He did it. He did it. He did it twice. He did it. He did it. He did it twice.